having ridden around Punchestown a lot, I know all the little idiosyncrasies of the place, but why ask me when we can ask leading amateur rider Robbie McNamara, who's ridden here a lot more than I have recently. Hmm, recently, anyway. Um, yeah, it is a, it's a lovely track. It's a very fair track. Um, the hurdle course is uh, it's quite undulating down the back. Uh, you need a, a good balanced horse. Um, the chase course is a, it's a lot wider. It's a lovely big, uh, um, lovely big galloping track. Very fair as well. Um, it is a, a lovely race course. But as well, do you need a horse with a little bit of tactical speed? You do definitely um, need him to travel. Um, often the, the race there's big fields here. Um, they'd be competitive as well, so you need a horse to, to travel. Um, you can save the, the, the bend out of the back straight is rather tight, so you don't want to give away too much room there. So you kind of want to be favouring the inside. Um, it's definitely a horse with a bit of tactical speed would be a big help. We've come down to the entrance into the home straight here, and it's also the two-mile start. Now, Robbie, more and more each year we see how important the starts are. What are your tips on the best way to get yourself into a position before you go? Um, a lot of times, as I was saying, there's big fields most of the time here, so you're you're always trying to get the, the best position. What I tend to do is um, I line up, I'll, I'll be on the very inside, whether they're, they're all trotting around, I'll be on the very, very inside. So whichever way, if you're going right-handed, I'll be on the inside, and you, you turn in, you can, if you're on the outside, a whole lot of them, you're going to be the last one in. So if I stay on the inside, you can nip in before the whole lot of them, you're turning before them, so you can get away. Heading up the straight, plenty of chat prominent with Paddy Curry over towards the far side. Tracking the leaders over on the rail is New Phase. 50 yards to race, New Phase on the stand side of doorway as they go to the line. New Phase narrowly. But I've seen it more and more happening that it's, it's musical chairs almost. It's like wait till the music stops and then everybody makes a rush for the gap. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's funny you're, you're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Give your instructions to. A few people will be instructed to, to be handy in their horses and trying to get the best possible start. But then at the same time, you, you don't want to, if, you, if you're too uh, aggressive at the start, you, you, you'll get suspended by the starter. So um, there's a fine line between it. Robbie, we're down past the winning post now and you turn right-handed sharp, but it is sharply downhill as well. It is. You uh, just turn out of the home straight and you come down here and it's very, you wouldn't really see it on television. Um, it's, it's a good drop and it's even even more so on the inside track. Um, it's not too bad for the older horses um, to be probably more balanced. Um, but the, the younger horses and bumpers in that first time out, um, you can catch a few of them out. Um, you just got to keep a good hold of them, keep them gathered going down the hill um, to get them unbalanced very quickly going down it. Is there a danger of setting them alight too because you're going going downhill? Very much so, yeah. Um, but gather up a bit of speed and you're trying to uh, try to keep off the, the heels in front of you. Um, but they can just the odd time you can, can set them alight and make, get, get a little run on you down the hill. Robbie, we've come down to the last ditch. What makes this a difficult fence? Um, I think if, if, you, if you walk around, it's, it's a little taller than the, the other fences around. Um, obviously, the ditch adds a bit to it. Um, but you, you, you just, if you look look back, you, you just come, you roll off a little hill down to it. Um, horses kind of tend to, uh, the balance could, tends to go a little forward, to go out in their head a small bit, and you um, can just catch the odd horse out. And it's important that you're in a good position when you land at the back of it as well, because you're still actually going downhill around that sweeping bend. You are, yeah. Well, you, the whole lot of it just from the last the 100 yards before it is, is downhill and the same down, stem down into the bend um, but it's a it's a nice it's, it's an inviting fence um, same as the, the rest of them around here they're all inviting they seem to jump, tend to jump very well um, horses get into a lovely rhythm around here and like they're, they're very big fences but they, they ride very well and also I, I can't never realize how much ground they have here as well yeah they have a few vast amount of ground um, they, for the, f the festival now, they've all, all the the whole course is, is fresh ground. They use the the inside track for the rest of the year, so that um, the, the ground they'll have for ch or for for the festival hasn't been used since 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 last year's festival. Robbie, the first few times I, I rode here, I didn't actually realise how sharp this turn was. It is, yeah. It is. Uh, it rides very sharp. Um, the first first time you come around it, um, if you come around it twice. You, the first time would be in a two and a half mile race or further. 
Um, your ride's okay, you're going that bit steadier. Second time round, you tend to be kind of racing, racing down into it. You see a lot of horses running, running off the bend and losing, losing valuable ground at it. But as well, it's almost like a fall straight here, isn't it? Because the race almost starts too early. It does. Um, you often find that um, as soon as you turn out to this bend or even coming to the bend, um, you're racing to it. And the funny thing is, you're, you're over half a mile from home here, so like um, most national hunt races, they've been around 15 seconds of furlong. You're, you're still a minute from home. Um, so they kind of you're going down to it as if you, you come out of it as if you're two furlongs from home, but you you really have a half a mile to go. But as well, people have no idea or concept of how stiff this track is because it's quite a pull all the way up to the line here, isn't it? Because you you're climbing all the way from here, really. You are um, even uh, a little b little before the bend here. You're you're climbing the whole way, all the way to the finish line for the last half mile. It is it's uphill the whole way. Um, I tend to go a good gallop around here as I send the big fields and uh, it's, it'd be a stern test if you, if you, if you win around here you're, you're well able to stay. It's Sir Deschambault now, long run underneath the stands rail, but Sir Deschambault bridging an 11 year gap for Willie Mullins. Robbie, we're here at the finishing line, now what kind of horse does it take to get you here in front of everybody else? Uh, one with more ability than the ones behind you. Um, it's, there's only one of these in the, the race course, and it's, you can be in front, you can be in front there, and be behind here, and this is the place that counts. Um, it's uh, there's a long running up the straight, and you can be in front turning in, furling out makes no difference. And I think that you see Barry Garrity and Ruby Wallace there, as good as people to, then they know where the finishing line is. They're, they're, they're better than anyone at, uh, at judging it to perfection. Do you want to play your cards late when you turn into the straight, or do you, would you would you prefer to be in a position as you turn in? Um, it's not that much long of a run, and it's about, about two furlongs, a little more. Um, so you don't want to be too far off the premises. Um, like if you're after going a, a very strong gallop, you'd you'd like to be just in behind the leaders and getting the lead into the straight. If you're after going slow, you, you, you'd want to be. You, I'd like to be in front and then turn in if you're after going slow.